And as we just heard during his address tonight, the president also encouraged the nation to treat all Muslims fairly. Those are welcome words to many here in Chicago. In this original report, a Muslim woman talked to me candidly about the impact of negative public perception of her religion because of ISIS. Born and raised in Chicago, Fatima Ahmed never imagined the challenges she'd face decades later as a 24-year-old Muslim woman. I guess I didn't really see myself as being different. But in a time when ISIS is terrorizing the world, Ahmed and other Muslims find themselves wrongly associated with the extremist group simply because of its self-association with Islam. I get judged for the way that I look and the way that I dress. I don't really feel safe anymore leaving home. That fear grows with every ISIS-linked incident, including the San Bernardino shooting. What was your reaction the moment you heard that suspect's name? first thought that went through my head was, please don't let his name be a Muslim name. And when it was? I, I knew that I would automatically be associated with him. Renner Larson works with Ahmed at CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, and it pains him that she and other Muslims are automatically associated with ISIS. Last week, when a guy that looked like me with a name like mine walked into a Planned Parenthood and started shooting, nobody judged me for his actions. And that's a double standard. Do you think that there are some people that just look at you and see a terrorist or a potential terrorist because of what's gone on in the world? Absolutely. What yeah. is that like living like that day in and day out? Um, She couldn't find the words to answer that question, but her pained expression and the tears welling up in her eyes said it all. Ahmed says the way to bridge that divide and to overcome the fear is to educate each other. She suggests simply walking up to someone, greeting them, and then seeing where that conversation goes.